Hey guys, today I'm going to show you the difference between a facelift lightsaber and a high end NeoPixel um, lightsaber. This one's powered by the POV 2.2 board and it's NeoPixel. So, basically, what's the difference between a facelift and a NeoPixel um, lightsaber is firstly, the difference is in its blade. Now, this bigger one is the NeoPixel blade, and this smaller one is the base lid blade. Now, it's not the difference in size, but what the difference is that a NeoPixel blade is all solid in here, filled with um, small little um, LEDs. So, hence why it's called NeoPixel, because each LED is like a pixel and so it would light up the whole blade and you can control the colors of the blade a lot um, obviously you have full control because you have control of the individual um, pixels in this blade whereas this base lid blade as you can see in here um, it's it's hollow inside it's very light it's still durable but it's hollow It's hollow in here, as you can see. It's all hollow there. Now, so that's the difference in the blade. Now what happens in the base lid is that it's lit by this lamp down here, hence why it's called base lid. It's good lit from the base of the hilt. When you put the uh, blade in like that, will light up the blade so it's light up by this light here by this light down here, the lamp down here whereas the near pixel here it's got these pins down here, and when you pop in the blade, it would light up these individual pixel um, lamps or pixel LEDs along the blade. So let's pop in and have a go. So let's look at it and let's light it up, huh? So you can see there, it's light up there. It's a lot brighter, I tell you, a lot brighter than the base lid. And you have full control of the whole blade. Okay, let's see, you got more different um, effects. And you can see how the blade. Um, lights up from top to bottom and switches off from bottom to um, top. Uh, sorry, from lights up from top to bottom and um, blacks out from or shuts down from top to bottom. So that's a, again, can you see the different effects there? This is also infinite color. You can change it to almost any color you want. These are just some of the predetermined um, sand fonts I've got here. So that's a green color. All right. So yeah, that's the main difference between a Neo Pixel and a base lit saber. And as you can see, this. Is a much more high-end um, replica of the Ben Solo. It's you know you're looking at paying about a thousand dollars Australian for this for a NeoPixel Pro V 2.2, whereas this you're looking at paying about 130, 150 dollars. So that's the different price you're paying. Um, obviously, this is a lot heavier. It's got a bigger blade. Um, 
better metal, better finish. This is more for your, you know, everyday usage. This you probably won't drill with it because it's expensive, so you won't do any combat with it. You just put it on the rack on this for display. Whereas this one, you know, you would you can take it um, and have a fight with your mate, uh, have some combat, have some fun, whack things with it. Um, it won't, you know, it won't uh, cost you too much if you break the blade. And you know, both blades, whether it's Neopixel or the um, base lid is replaceable for the blade, and I supply them as well. So yeah, that's uh, also this is a like I said a POV 2.2, which means you can do your DIY scent fonts and DIY light effects as well. So obviously you pay, uh, you get what you pay for. Uh, so if you have the money. And you're a hardcore friend, a hardcore fan, hardcore Jedi. Then you go the uh, POV 2.2 Neo Pixel uh, realistic replica saber. If you just want to have a everyday whack around with it, um, have some combat training, then you go with something like this, a base lid, uh, where both the blade uh, and the heel is a lot cheaper. Uh, the blade is a lot cheaper to replace well on a base lid. Uh, if it ever get damaged. Now inside a cheap saber like this one, that's what the internal electronics look like. So you got your lamb, battery, speaker, and the electronic board here. Whereas inside NeoPixel, this is what inside NeoPixel um, electronics look like. So as you see here, it's a POV 2.2 board. Um, it's got the micro USB port and SD card, so you can do your DIY Santa Fed. That's the button there. Um, the lights up like that. Very loud. I haven't connected up the pins yet, but that's the pins for it. It's fairly easy to connect up, so you just want to do your um, build your own. If you want to build your own saber, you can just get one of these. Again, I supply these as well. Um, you can get it from my shop, and you can build your own heel and have a really cool Neo Pixel um, smooth swing uh, board installed, and it would be awesome. It's you know, it's just be like a uh, the, you know, like the real thing. Okay, so that's the difference between a NeoPixel um, and a base lid saver. Thanks for watching.